What's up folks, Youth Director here again. Today we're working on my home theater system and getting my new AV receiver, the Denon X6700H, installed in the system. So it's nice to have you all back with us. Today we're gonna to take what we just worked on previously, my closet, my AV closet, and you can see it right here, widened for the new receiver. We're gonna take our equipment, get it back in there, get all the wiring and things plugged back into it. Now we may not go as extensively as I want to because with our new receiver, we can add new speakers and things like that. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna run all those wires currently and I wanna to get to watching a movie on this new receiver. So some of the things that we might do, we do have a new HDMI cable. It's just a little bit longer. My previous one that I bought was like 25 feet. I needed 30 feet. And so we'd have to go and run that along the corners of the room. I have this little casing that holds all the wires up in the corners so you can't see them and tuck them away nice and neatly. So we may work on that. It's kind of hard though because it's full of wires as it is currently. It may be hard to get another one in there. So we'll work on that, get it set up as much as we can, and then we'll go from there. So far we have the speaker wires hooked up, we have the RCA cables hooked up for the subwoofers, we also have an ethernet cable hooked up and an HDMI cable hooked up. The HDMI cable is the old one, I have to have like a little bit of an extender on it because it's just a tad too short. I'm um, going we'll see if it works real quick first just before I install the other one. I eventually will install the other one, um, if this one doesn't work now I will definitely install it now. Also, I need to sort the Ethernet cables a little bit better. They're not quite arranged the way that I want them to be arranged. So let me show you what I have. So here is the HDMI cable. It goes up and into a coupler right there. The problem with that is it can cause blackout sometimes with the different HDMI standards and so forth. So I want to get one that goes just an extra little uh, foot and a half to the receiver. Um, we have our speakers. Uh, these are the original speakers that we had hooked up. Those are all hooked back up. And we have the speaker cables for the two subwoofers in the back of the room, right there. And then we have our multi-channel input right here, which allows this receiver to actually act as a amplifier. They're hooked into the surround for the subwoofers and they're coming out of the surround for the subwoofers right there. And here's the little bit of a rat's nest that we've got going on. I wanna get this sorted so that way it looks a little bit better. It's tucked away maybe against the side right over here. And then they go into their respective components.
I got the ethernet cable kind of tucked up. <laughs> I just watched the video and it's pretty blurry. It basically took one of the bars for this uh, right here, one of the little support bars and it focused in on that the whole time. So I apologize, but that's kind of what happened. So let me show you what I did here so you can see it up close since it was kind of blurry in the video. So I looped that, that's the incoming ethernet cable signal and two outgoing to two other rooms. And then here we have all the ones that go to the various components. And I wrapped them together right here and I took some staples meant for some Romex wire, some electrical Romex wire, put those on it to kind of hold it against the wall. And then we have them going to the components. The only issue is down here, I forgot, Here's our Roku. We use that the most. We have to have we have to have a wire going into the Roku, an Ethernet cable going into there. So I got to figure out which one of these I'm going to sacrifice for the um, for the Roku. So anyway, that's what we've got there, and we'll get going on finishing that up. And then I guess the next thing will be the HDMI cables. Okay, so we ended up sacrificing the PS3. We have a Xbox One X, a PS4, PS3. Sony Blu-ray player, 4K Blu-ray player in the Roku. We really don't use the PS3 very often, and all we have to do is just come down here and switch the cable back if that's what we choose to use. So the Roku now has a wire going to it. Sorry, PS3. Okay, so we've got the HDMI cables in. We have them routed. Ended up like was misplaced one of the HDMI cables, and so I used a different one, and I found it. So I had to reroute it again after I had everything all strapped together. But it's okay; it's it's done now. And then I ended up um, running the power cables uh, for everything. I got down to the the PS4. If you remember, the PS4 uses an external hard drive, and so I have to have an external power supply for that because it's a large hard drive. So I had to kind of figure out how I was going to run that and what else I'm going to do. So I'll uh, give you a little bit of a look at what we have done so far. So here are the HDMI cables right there. And they're all routed together. Uh, down here on the side, loop around to their respective components. And on this side, we have our mini DSP, which has its power supply around the front that cable comes around it comes together with the AC infinity fan cable right there and then the power cable for the denim receiver those get routed together and then we add the Yamaha receiver the 3900 that we're using as an amplifier routed together and then we bring in the Xbox one X routed together and now we have are down here to the PlayStation 4, its own, it has its own power for the actual uh, machine and then another power supply for the hard drive that we are using right here. And so now we have to uh, bundle that with these cables and then we still have a couple more to go down here to bundle together. Actually the PS3, I think it's just going to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> I'm not going to plug it in at all. Uh, but anyway, we'll have to, to bundle together the Roku and the Blu-ray, the 4K Blu-ray player, and then we'll be done with we'll be done with at least cabling, uh, bundling the cables together, and then we'll figure out where we're going to put our surge protector. Eventually, I'll get a power conditioner. For right now, I just have a surge protector, so we'll figure out where we're going to place that and get it all plugged in. Got it 
ready to go, kind of, sort of. The power strip is not where I'd like it to be. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So there is the cord for the power strip and it comes right along here, alongside the back, tucks underneath there, and there you go. It's just dangling there. <laughs> uh, so the cord's not long enough. And what I plan on doing is actually drilling a hole in the front of every one of these shelves, running the power cord against the wall, and then mounting the power strip down underneath, up on that front wall, tucking everything out of the way so it looks nice and neat and pretty. So it's gonna take a lot of work to do that. Gotta take everything kind of back out. I'm not ready to do that. I wanna enjoy some movies. So we're gonna watch some movies and enjoy some for a bit before I take that out. It's not hurting anything dangling right there for right now. So we'll just keep it there. Let me show you the organized chaos that we have going on. Still a little bit messy, but it is organized chaos. So right here is what we've got going on to give you an idea of what everything is. On this side, we have our power cords for all the devices. We also do have some speaker, speaker cable that's coming down, going over here for our subwoofers in the back. And then we have our regular speaker cables for everything else, our speaker wire coming down here. And then on this side, we have our HDMI and ethernet cables to go out and go to their respective devices. So other than that rat's nest down there, I feel pretty good about it. And I'm, I'm gonna live with it for at least a little while. So we're gonna enjoy some movies. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for leaving a thumbs up and commenting. All those things help. And uh, thank you for sticking with me. And until the next time, you guys take it easy.